Okay, so we found that k sub c equals 0 0.213 in the first part. Let's see what you found for k sub p value for the second answer. Now, as we discussed in a previous section, k sub p can be calculated by taking k sub c times rt raised to the delta n power. R is our universal gas constant, 0 0.08205, with units of liters times atmosphere over Kelvin mole. But again, because we're working with equilibrium constants, we're going to be neglectful of units for this one problem. So T is temperature, but what we've learned previously is that the temperature has to be in units of Kelvin. And in this problem, I gave you temperature in units of Celsius. So the first thing we need to do is to write temperature in units of Kelvin. And tel Kelvin temperature is taking the degrees Celsius plus 273. So 100 plus 273 tells us that the temperature we'll use in this calculation is 373 Kelvin. So now we have R and we have T. What is delta N going to be in this situation? Again, delta N is the change in the number of moles between the products and the reactants. So delta N is the product moles. We have two moles of the product minus the reactant moles. And we have just one mole of the reactant. So delta N for this equilibrium is going to be 1. So RT raised to the first power, essentially RT. Now we have all the numbers we need. We can plug in the values to solve for K sub P. K sub P equals K sub C, 0 0.213, times R, 0 0.08205, times T, which is 373. And since those are raised to the first power, we don't have to do anything there. So we simply run those numbers through our calculator. And it tells us that the value of k sub p is 6.52. So this is one situation where the k sub p value has a different numerical value from the k sub c value.